This is a second video on a series on hepatitis and we'll discuss investigations and complications. If your doctor suspects hepatitis, take a proper history, do a physical examination, and then order investigations. These include blood tests, example, the liver function test. Liver function test is to determine how efficiently the liver is functioning. In hepatitis, there are two liver enzymes that are typically elevated. They are alanine transaminase, or ALT and aspartate transaminase or AST. These enzymes are normally contained within the liver cells. If injured, the liver cells spills these enzymes into the blood, raising the enzyme levels in the blood. Other blood tests include full blood count, renal profile and coagulation studies. The latter is done to see how well the blood clots. There are also blood tests done to look for antibodies to viral hepatitis A, B and C. Antibodies are proteins that are produced by white cells that attack invaders like viruses and germs. The presence of these antibodies suggests that the virus is present in the body. There are also blood tests done to look at the actual genetic material of the viruses, hepatitis B and C, as well as certain components of the virus, which I will discuss in the video on hepatitis B and C later. Blood tests are also done, if indicated, to measure levels of iron and copper, and also blood tests to look for antibodies in autoimmune hepatitis. Another common investigation is the ultrasound of the abdomen. Ultrasound of abdomen which uses sound waves to create an image of the organs within the abdomen. Ultrasound detects liver damage, liver enlargement, excess fat in the liver or liver tumour. This scan also looks for any abnormality in the gallbladder and the bile duct. The bile duct is the tube that drains bile from the liver to the small intestine. Other imaging tests that may be done in hepatitis is CT scan and MRI scan if the ultrasound is not conclusive. Finally, what is the role of liver biopsy in the investigations? Liver biopsy is the only definitive investigation to detect liver inflammation and scarring of liver. Then, if the doctor is unable to come to a conclusive diagnosis, after the above investigations. In a liver biopsy, the doctor takes a small piece of tissue from the liver. However, the liver biopsy is an invasive procedure and occasionally the patient may bleed from the site of the biopsy. To reduce the risk of bleeding and to ensure that the biopsy needle is in the right spot in the liver, most liver biopsies are today done under ultrasound guidance. Since most patients with hepatitis B and C do not have symptoms, it is best to identify high-risk group of patients and then to test them. So these are the high-risk group of patients. Anyone who has injected recreational drugs like heroin, amphetamine and cocaine. Those who work in a field such as healthcare in which they have contact with blood body fluids and needles. People who had a tattoo or any sort of body piercing in an unregulated setting. Those who are born to mothers with hepatitis B and C. If someone had used razors, toothbrush and nail clippers 
of an infected person. Anyone who had blood transfusion before 1992. People who are promiscuous and had unprotected sex with infected persons, particularly prostitutes. Those who are on kidney dialysis, men who have had sex with men, and anyone infected with HIV. What are the complications of hepatitis? Fortunately, very few patients die from acute hepatitis, particularly if due to viral hepatitis A, B or C, and most of the patients recover. However, chronic hepatitis is a more serious condition. In chronic hepatitis, there is inflammation of liver cells over months and years. These inflamed liver cells die and are replaced by scar tissue and this is called fibrosis. More and more liver cells die and more and more scar tissue forms. Unfortunately, scar tissue does not contain any healthy liver cells. A stage is reached when much of the healthy liver cells have been replaced by scar tissue. This is called cirrhosis. Further progression of cirrhosis leads to a stage where there is insufficient liver tissue to maintain liver function. This is called liver failure. Cirrhosis is permanent and cannot be reversed. Patients with cirrhosis have a higher chance of developing liver cancer. Hence, it is important to detect chronic hepatitis at an early stage and treat it. There are many effective medicines to treat the various types of hepatitis and prevent the progression to scarring, fibrosis, cirrhosis, liver failure and cancer. Unfortunately, most people with chronic liver disease do not have symptoms until complications like liver failure and cancer develops.